Hello and welcome to contextualbacklink.com. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the features of the Contextual Backlink Permanent Backlink service, how easy the system is to use, and how it can be a benefit to both your new and existing link building campaigns. Okay, so we'll get started by logging into the Contextual Backlink members area. As normal, you just enter your member username and password there. Once logged in, you're taken straight to the members area. You'll see the main members area has three tabs detailing your link building efforts and the backlinks you've created. The Your Posts area is where you'll find all the posts you've created, the backlinks and so on. Your Projects is linked to your posts and is the area you'll create project files with which to better manage your campaigns. And finally, your Link Balancing. You'll find all your link balancing results in this area. As you can see, they're all empty right now, so let's do something about that and add a post by clicking on the Members menu above. So here's the Add Post or Blog Post Submission area. What we do first is to add a title for that post. This can be anywhere from 3 to 10 words long, and is the same that your post will be published under. Next we need to select a category for your post. Choose whichever category fits best. Now, if you need writing for your post, tick this box. I'll cover this area more again later on. If you're providing your own post, you add it to the content area, including your contextual backlinks, of course. Finally, choose the keywords or tags to associate with your post. Now, click Submit, and your post will be sent to the approval queue for submission to the blog network. So now that the post has been submitted, we'll revisit the Members Area page to see what it looks like. So here we are back at the Members Area, and you'll see the post we've just made is now showing. If we click the title link, you'll see all the detail you just added in the post itself. Also on the right, you'll notice there's an Edit button. We'll come back to that in a second. One thing we haven't done with this post, though, is to add it to a project. We've not even created a project for that matter, so let's fix that right now. So first of all, we'll click on the Add Project button on the Members menu. This will bring up the Create a New Project page. Projects can be thought of as either files or categories, and their main purpose is to help you manage your campaigns better. Say, for example, your link building for three different websites. If you add each to separate projects, you can view and manage and view each set of links you create in a much more organized way. They're also great if you're running campaigns as an SEO business and need to keep your client reports separate. Adding a project is really very simple. Each project just requires a title. The rest of the boxes are all optional and purely for your reference. Now that the project has been created, we'll return to the Members area and take a look at the Your Projects tab. And there we see the project we've just created. Now, we'll go back to the Your Post tab and click that Edit button I mentioned earlier. What we want to do is edit the post and add it to the project we just created. So we're back on the Edit screen now, and you've now got a project drop-down. If we click it, we can now select the project we just created. So let's select that in there and scroll down to the bottom and update the post. All posts can be edited until they've been published to the network, by the way. Now that we've added the post to the project, let's return to the Members area and take a look. And there it is, the project added with the post and now completely searchable too. So that's the first post added, and as you see, its status is currently set to Pending. This means that it's in our submission queue, waiting for approval by one of our proofreaders, or Pending Publishing. It'll either say Pending, Published, or Declined. While we're waiting then, we'll create another post, and this time we'll select the project during the post creation. 
So we go back to the Members menu and select Add Post again. Back on the Blog Post Submission page, we'll first select the project that we're adding this post to. Then, as before, we'll add a title. Select a category for the post. Add our content with our contextual backlinks in place. And finally, we'll choose the keywords, tags we want associating with the post submission on the network, and we click Submit again. Once the post has been submitted, we'll go back to the Members area to take another look. And there's the new post, with its attached project, and again, it's in waiting under pending status. So we'll add one final post, but instead of adding our own content this time, we'll say we need writing for it. Our writing service is available to all members, and uses a post token each time you make a writing order. To get our writers to create your posts, we still need to give them a little information to work with. So, as before, first of all, we decide which project to add the post to. The post still needs a title so that our staff know what to write about. It'll also need a category for when it's posted to the blog network. As we need writing, we'll tick the box this time. Once we do, the submission form changes slightly and the post content box is replaced by three new files. These are the writing order fields and they're all a member needs to complete in order to get our writers to do the work. First one is the link for the article. This is the link to your target site. Next is the anchor text to go with that link. This will create your contextual backlink. Following that is the negative details field. If there are any topics, websites, links, names, companies, or any other details you'd like our writers to avoid, this is where you tell them. Finally, we need to select Keyword Tags for the post as before and hit Submit to send it to the writers. And it's submitted. As you can see on the right, the number of posting tokens and writing tokens has dropped from the 10 we initially had at the start. So back to the members area, and as you'll see, all three posts are in pending status, and the new post, which requires writing, is also sitting in the queue too. Rather than waiting, we'll fast forward to the next day and see what happens after the posts have been through our writers and approval process. So here we are, 24 hours later, logging in again. Back to the Members Area page, and you'll see that all three of our posts are now published, have links attached, and have changed to a green colour. If we click on one of the post titles, we can now see some extra details about the posts, the published link, the page rank of the blog it was published upon, and of course, its updated status. Finally, we come to the post that we needed the writing for. If we click its title, we can see the same published details, plus the content that has been created by our writing staff. When using our writing service, we guarantee that your post will pass our approval process and will be published on the network. And that's it. In the next video, I'll be demonstrating the contextual backlink link balancing service, how it can benefit any SEO campaign, and detail some of its more interesting capabilities. Thanks for watching. Contextualbacklink.com. Safe, permanent links that you can rely on.